What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Thanks for tuning to Stock Essentials. My name is Alex, in this video, we're gonna be going over the exact strategy, the exact thought process that I go through when selling options. And it's helped me achieve a rate of return of over 90%. Uh, for 2020, we did have over 70 trades, uh, albeit that it was only for half a year. Uh, 70 trades, 100% win rate, $2,000 profit for 2020. Uh, and this year, uh, we started in uh, late August, basically September. Uh, we had 20 trades, 95% win rate. Uh, we did have one pretty big loss, FBRX, and that stock tanked 82% uh, the next day uh, that we opened it. So we learned our lesson, we cut our losses, uh, and to not play biotech stocks, pharmaceuticals, healthcare industry, anything like that. So besides that, all of the trades have been pretty good. We're still holding a ton of positions, as we can see here. A lot of cash secured puts, as well as covered calls, making that weekly income. Uh, our goal is around 1%, uh, hopefully 2% per week, uh, and we've been doing pretty well. Um, so uh, I use a variety of tools to scan for the best um, stocks to play options on. And I also have uh, about a a watch list of around 40 to 50 stocks i like to do the wheel strategy on and basically what the wheel strategy is you sell cash secured puts um out of the money of course uh until you get assigned shares uh and when you get assigned shares that's when the stock price drops below your uh strike price at expiration and then you have to buy 100 shares at that st strike price uh so you get 100 shares and then you can do the wheel strategy which is selling covered calls so you're making money on both the put side as well as the call side. So I have a bunch of stocks I like to sell cash kit puts on. Uh, and I just go through this watch list every single day, see what's, uh, we'll see what's a good stock to sell options on. So obviously there's a lot of green stocks. Yesterday was a very green day. Um, so we didn't really open up too many positions, um, but we did see some good opportunities yesterday uh, with Fubo as well as ARK. K. Uh, so we sold some options on that, as we can see here. RK110 put, as well as a Fubo uh, $23 cash kit put, which is doing pretty well already. Um, so besides swatch lists and scanning manually for stocks, we also head over to the barchart.com highest implied volatility stocks and see kind of like what's having the highest implied volatility. Um, so with higher implied volatility, it means the premiums and the options are going to be higher, which means if you're selling options, you're going to be receiving a higher credit. So that's going to be very good, uh, especially when selling options, because we can go further down the strike prices really far out of the money and kind of take advantage of the higher implied volatility uh, and collect a, a nice premium uh, for a very safe trade and very high chance of profit. With the strategy, we're looking for around an 80% to 90% chance of profit. So really high win rate, as we can see with our trading log. And lastly, I also use Thinkorswim. They have a ton of scanners, stock scanners, option scanners, uh, and I use their option, uh, their option scanner. Uh, and I basically look for stocks that have a really good return on risk of one to 2%. Uh, we do want an open interest of at least 300. We do want liquidity. Uh, we do, this is just so we can get in and out of our contracts pretty easily. Uh, people have to be trading these contracts in order for us to sell a cash grip. But, uh, and basically we're looking for um, an oversold stock. So an RSI scam uh, below the average. Um, so that's basically it. Um, and then, so when we scan it, we have a, a bunch of search results, a bunch of stocks to potentially sell options on. So I go through these one by one and see what's a good buy. I also take a look at the charts at tradingview.com um, and basically see what some good support levels are to sell options on. So AMC would probably be a good one to sell options on at around the $36 strike. Um, looks pretty good support around the $37, $38 price range. So that would be something that I would personally do. But basically, I just go through these one by one uh, and see what some good cash care puts to sell to sell on. Um, and that's basically the process. Uh, I do have going to open a 
free Discord server, so if you're interested in that, leave a comment down below. Basically going over every single one of my trades right when I make them. Um, and then you guys can also have the link to this um, this uh, spreadsheet where I have my portfolio, this option selling tracker. Obviously, it's not going to be everything because I'm also selling covered calls as well as buying and buying stuff in my long term portfolios. But this is just going to be for selling, purely selling cash puts and some good entry points that I would recommend for you guys, um, ranging from small accounts to larger accounts. Uh, but remember, selling cash gear puts, it does require a few thousand dollars of collateral. So you have to have at least a few thousand dollars in your portfolio to sell some cash secured puts. But every now and then we'll do some cheaper stocks such as BBIG, which only requires a few hundred dollars of collateral. But overall, the process is pretty simple. We sell far out of the money cash secured puts on some really good stocks. And then we continue that week over week and collect some nice weekly income aiming for around 1% per week, uh, 2% if we're pretty doing pretty good. Uh, but 1% a week, that's going to be basically a really good annual return, um, kind of around 70 to 80% if you're reinvesting. Uh, but without reinvesting, that's going to be a 52% annualized return, which is beating the stock market by quite a bit. Uh, as well as being a lot of the fund managers out there just buying and holding stocks. So this is active trading and you are going to pay, have to pay taxes on it uh, for short-term capital gains. So you have to keep that in mind as well. But overall, really high win rate, really good return. And it's my favorite strategy and it's been very consistent. So that's about it for this video. If it helped in any way, please leave a like, comment down below. And of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel. It helps out a lot. Thanks for watching.